Welcome back to Hometown Eats 100. You know, the number one question I get asked, Dan Curtis, the owner of Uncle D's here in Roanoke, even got this question at the bank. Do you eat all the food? Where's it all go? Well, the answer is no, I don't eat all that food. There's no stomach big enough to eat all the food. But the next question I get, what's your favorite restaurant? That one, I, I can't answer that one. That's like asking a parent, who's your favorite kid? But there are several that do come to mind and they pull on my heartstrings. Being dubbed the best apple pie ever by Southern Living Magazine or having the likes of Al Roker stop by for a network interview, that's enough to grab anybody's attention. And it brings lots of people through the doors of Angie Scott's Woodruff's Pie Shop in Amherst County. For me, it's the story of Angie's great-grandfather, Wyatt, a freed slave in 1865 who set up a blacksmithing shop right across the street from that pie shop. I think about my family and my great-grandfather, who was a slave. And just what he would think about this right now. And um, my parents, who loved on people, and I want to do that same thing. We try to share the love of Christ with people who walk in. A love that can be found far and wide is between Mario Amaya and his wife, Salita. And they've got a good one as the owners of Roanoke's Walk and Roll Kitchen. I was living in California, and then I met her online. And then I came here one day just to meet her. 15 years and five kids later, they'll feed you like family, and that's something I can't forget. And I'm just very thankful and blessed that I have her as my partner, as my friend, as my wife. Every boy's first love is his mama. And for Brad Wood, he loved his mama Sarah so much that he put her name on the restaurant in Rocky Mount. I'm a mama's boy, you know. I just be, she called me her big teddy bear. The food, I would argue, is enough to keep Mama Sarah's memory alive, but Brad made sure you see why she's so special as soon as you walk in. And I keep her legacy going, she never died of me. An early hometown eats that stays on my mind has got to be Open Door Cafe in Withful, simply for the mission behind the food. The mission is very simple. We are a donate what you can cafe, simply means that everybody eats free. In a time when people are deciding, can I pay the rent or do I pay the power? Open Door is right there to make sure that you don't have to go hungry. I just love when I hear people say, that's the best blah, blah, blah I've ever had in my life. Because of the expectation I had before ever trying this place, Mama Jean's Barbecue in Roanoke was always on my radar. Another Southern Living Magazine alum, Madison Ruckel has mastered the art of mouth-watering, finger-licking, award-winning barbecue, and another place that's paying homage to Mama. She just taught me a lot about uh, having integrity and working hard. She just helped me out so much and I owe everything to her. If you haven't figured it out by now, I'm a mama's boy and I'm grateful for another in Nakias Johnson and his ridiculous chicken wings at Tammy's Grill in Martinsville. Tammy, I'm going to keep her name alive forever, man. Like her legacy, um, she's going to live on forever through me as long as I'm here. Mm, good chicken wings. All right, coming up after the break, We'll go back for a second plate to see how some of the restaurants benefited from your support.